Hey, this is Anthony from TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion Clutch leather pants available at RedZilla.com. So within the Scorpion line, we know the SP2, which is their top end track pant. It's really the bottom half of a two-piece race suit. The clutch is really the murdered out version of that SP2. So not a lot of changes other than aesthetics. So if we look at it, it's 1.2 to 1.4 mil grade cowhide. You're going to have hip armor in both hips and you have adjustable CE molecular armor in the knees. You're also going to notice when you come in here tightly, you have a big patch of female Velcro. So you're going to be able to add sliders. Again, taking it to the track. Now from a seasonality standpoint, you're looking at lightweight perforation and you do have stretch panels that are gonna flow a little bit of air. But remember with leather, taking it to the track, you're looking really spring, summer, fall. And in my estimation for the next iteration of this pant, I would love it if they added a little bit more perforation to this, even though you're gonna be mesh lined on the inside. Now keep in mind within that Scorpion lineup, you have your clutch and you have your SP2 battling it out at the top of the food chain, still in between three and 400 bucks. So there's a ton of bang for the buck there. The baby brother to this would be more of a sport and road riding oriented pant. And that would be the Raven, which is gonna match up with that Raven jacket. And again, be a little bit more Batman-esque where this bad boy is really meant to get to the track. Now quickly when we think about sizing, Hive is Brian. Oh, you're just so damn visible. Six foot, 195, 42 inch chest, and he's 35 inches at the belly button. So he's going to be a 35 inch belly button waist, and he's going to have about a 33 inch jean waist using that size chart that matches him up spot on with a medium in these pants. Now he is at the top end with these pants. If he was any bigger in any other parts, he'd probably go up to the large, but he's right on that cusp. And again, with a track day, you want to get it snug, you want it to fit spot on and to hug you, and it's nice that you you can have the adjustable knee armor because for Hivis Brian, he's going to be six foot with a 32 inch inseam, but he is able to move that knee armor to make sure that cup is in the right position while he's in the riding position on his bike. Now, also keep in mind, we're going to ship for free over 39 bucks. If you're concerned about that fitment, and as always, I'd love it if you click right there, click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback on the new Scorpion clutch pant. Now, diving into the nuance, we talked about 1.2 to 1.4 mil grade cowhide. Hide. We talked about CE rated armor. Let's work through some of the other nuances is starting at the top and working our way down. Notice at the, at the top here, it's going to be a slide, not a staff. That's nice. It's going to stay in place while you're riding. Go ahead, give it a quick show there. Hive is Brian as he slides it down. Again, that's a better feature than just having it be a snap. You're going to notice too, 360 degree zipper that is meant to be connectable to the clutch jacket from Scorpion. Again, connecting at that two piece suit and notice the high waist here that has some elasticity to it. So again, it's going to come up nice and high. It's going to move with you, allowing you for range of motion. Moving down, stretch panels in between kind of the crotch and on the inner thighs. It's gonna breathe, it's gonna allow you to be more comfortable when you're on the bike in the riding position. And then again, you're gonna have those areas of perf that come down across the tops of the thighs. Oh, I wish they were so much bigger, but again, they're smaller. So again, if you're living in Texas doing track days or even in the Northeast here where it becomes 120 degrees on the tarmac, it really depends on how hot you run and how important additional over the top ventilation is going to be for you. Moving down, you're gonna see the Scorpion logo that's backed in this carbon fiber style. That's part of this phantom colorway that's is only available on the clutch pant. And then what I do really like here is a nice big area of elastication across the top of the knee. And you're gonna see as you make your way down, big piece of Sastec armor. Again, it's molecular, introducing the impact. It's gonna become rigid, but it molds your body. After your body heat, heats it up a little bit, getting very comfortable. And you have that big panel that you're gonna put your puck on. Now, Hivis Brian, turn your left foot out a little bit. Show the inside of that area on the inner side. Here's, here's gonna be your medial side coming down the leg. Notice, this is going to be your entry and exit point. Zipper down along that medial side for entry and exit out of your, out of your track pants here. And Ivis Brian, turn and face away from me really quickly giving a shot down the side. I actually want to stop, start at the top and work our way down. Notice we talked about the side and the top here in the 360 degree zip, but across the back, you're going to have this nice big yoke. And then as you move down, you can see your area of coverage on the hip armor coming down along the knee. Again, it's nice that there's an area of reflectivity. We saw an area of reflectivity that's murdered out on the front. But what I want to home in on here is that you have an area of stretch on the back of, knee, uh, back of the knee as well, but then you also have this expansion panel that's going to be mesh backed. And that's going to allow you, if you have really big calves, depending on how you're built, you have the ability to expand that and you have the ability to get a little bit of additional breathability and venting through the back there. Now, hi, Viz Brian, turn, away, turn and face the back. If we look at the back of this pant, again, big yoke for range of motion, especially if you're connecting to the jacket. 
What I do like is that on the front of this pant, there are a lot of seams. They add some style, they add some dynamic range of motion, but on the back of the pant in a high impact area, you're gonna have a minimization of seams. Would have loved to have seen them in that three to $400 range, maybe bake in a little bit of tailbone protection, but again, there's a bang for the buck factor going on here. And remember, your one color available as well. Check out the SP2 if you wanna see some of the more white oriented pants that are gonna have some different pops of color. Moving our way back down the back, again, Back of the leg is nice and clean. It's gonna fit snugly within the boot. No surprises there. Come back around to the front for me there, HVB. So keep in mind, this is going to be the bottom half of your two-piece suit from Scorpion. This is a clutch, same as the SP2, only this is the murdered out phantom colorway. As always, the next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the clutch pant at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. Keep in mind, we're gonna ship for free over to 39 bucks. And if you wanna to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.